The spread of HIV, the SARS and avian influenza scares, and the recent Ebola outbreak have all brought attention to global health. But what exactly is global health? The most widely accepted definition is that, with justice and human rights as its foundation, global health is an area for study, research and practice that places a priority on improving health and achieving health equity for all people worldwide. It should not be confused with international health, which focuses on developing countries and foreign aid. There are now more than 100,000 international flights every day, which means more complex infectious diseases spread beyond national borders more quickly than ever before. Individual countries don't have the capacity to tackle these ever-evolving threats by themselves, which means that people from different governments, cultures and religions have to work together to keep the public safe. But global health isn't just about infectious diseases. It's also about fast food culture that contributes to obesity, diabetes and heart diseases, girls' education that leads to lower child mortality rates, poverty that keeps people from affording basic housing, food, education and health services, the ever-growing flows of goods, money, technology, knowledge and many more that have implications on our health. In Global Health, we try to understand the underlying causes of these issues, whether they are social, cultural, economic, environmental, political, behavioral or biological factors. We look for solutions that cross boundaries between disciplines, sectors and societies and ask people to implement them jointly. Engineers, teachers, business people, parents, politicians and many other professions working in governments, civil societies and the private sector. Global Health thinks about the entire human population as one global community and it seeks for this community to work together to stay healthy. It believes that everybody should be concerned about the well-being of their fellow humans and that we should all take responsibility for health issues no matter where they occur or who is affected. How do trade agreements affect people's health? What is the impact of urban planning on health and well-being? Does migration represent a threat to health? In what ways will climate change affect our health? What are the challenges for an aging population? Whose voice counts in global governance? If these questions excite you, join the Global Health Team. It needs diverse people like you to work together to find lasting solutions. Thank you for watching this minute video series on global health, which was made in collaboration with the School of Global Studies at Tamasat University. For easy understanding, we have included some simplifications, so please make sure to check out our references for more information. Please leave your thoughts and suggestions for future topics in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.